Hi, I'm Tony Anscombe from AVG Technologies. Today I'd like to give you a really quick introduction to the new version of AVG Cleaner. And here it is. Yeah, this is the new AVG Cleaner. Take the cleaner and wipe your device clean. On a more serious note, actually let's take a look at the app. I'm going to go to the Google Play Store and I'm going to search for AVG. And here is AVG Cleaner for memory and storage. So we're going to install this app. Click on the install. There's a list of uh, access privileges the app is after. I'm going to accept those. You should review those and make sure you're happy. It's downloading the app and the app is uh, installed. Now I can open the app directly here from the Play Store, which I'm going to do. And as you can see, AVG Cleaner is starting. Now the first thing we've got to do is uh, we're agreeing to the license terms and conditions. Uh, I already know what they are. You should review them if needs be, and I'm going to continue. There is a feature in the AVG Cleaner that's just been added, which is called uh, Battery Profiles. Uh, battery Profiles allows you to set, set different profiles depending upon where you are. We'll look at that in a moment. Uh, but it's offering me this screen to start with. I'm going to say continue so we can use the product and actually take a look at what Profiles does. So as you can see on the screen, we've got four main elements here. We've got cache, history, app uninstaller, and battery. Uh, I'm going to click on cache first. Now, what cache means is lots of different applications create temporary files on your machine, uh, on your device, whether it's a, a temporary map folder, or whether it's a, a temporary photograph in social media networks or, or you know, browsing pages. It speeds up the use of that app and what happens is they take up space on your machine. And by clicking on cache, I can see which apps are taking up what space. So you can see, for example, Google Play Store is taking up 2.36 megabytes of my cache here, uh, and Google Plus, Maps, etc. And you can scroll down and look at how much space the different apps are using. I can choose to delete just the cache for one of these apps by clicking on it. Uh, and in here, I can clear the cache for that specific app, or I can just take the view, actually, I want to clean all of the cache and click this button here, it's removing all the cache for all the different uh, apps I have installed. And I've gained 6.7 megabytes and it should speed up my, uh, the usage of my, my device. Now back here, some of the other things I've got here is history. Um, different apps again create log files, browsing history, and all those types of things. And again, I can make a conscious decision. I can clean all the history or I can go through, see what it is creating the history and select what parts of the history I want to remove. So if I clean all of my history. I've saved 13.46 megabytes of downloaded history, cleaned off my device. So again, making my device cleaner, faster, and uh, performing better. The other two things in here, I've got App Uninstaller. Super important, this one. You can look at apps by the storage usage, or I can choose to move that and look. For example, I can look at data usage. If you're on a on a tariff that doesn't have unlimited data, then this is how you'd actually see what data each app is using and make decisions on whether you, know, you want to keep that app or, or continue running it, or maybe just adjust the configuration of the app. I can also look at um, battery usage. Again, super important if you're traveling, uh, and I can see which apps are using the most battery. Um, my device is, is fairly out of the box, so as you can see, only the apps that I'm, I'm testing with and showing you uh, show up in that screen there. But you can see the other apps are using some of the battery as well, um, and I can make decisions to uninstall. So for example, if I wanted to uninstall an app from here, you know, I can just click on the app, uh, let me uninstall File Explorer, and it's asking me to confirm and the app is gone. So all done from within AVG Cleaner, making it super simple to, to keep your device up to date. Now if I go back and look at the last feature here, battery, the new super feature here is profiles. Now what, if, if you can imagine you're sitting in your car, when you're in your car, the only thing you probably need turned on on your device actually is Bluetooth. Yeah? I don't need any mobile data because I can't read email in my car, I shouldn't be doing things in my car. Uh, but I need Bluetooth for it to sync with my car uh, speakers and microphone so that I can operate hands-free. When I'm at home, actually I want it to switch off mobile data uh, and only use my Wi-Fi. 
So I want different profiles depending upon where I am. We can set profiles here and we can set parameters around how the phone chooses which profile. So for example, when the phone sees my home Wi-Fi network, it will automatically switch to this profile and switch off, for example, mobile data. Or when I get in my car, the phone will automatically see the pairing of my Bluetooth device and switch off mobile data and switch off Wi-Fi, thus saving me battery power, giving me lots and lots more battery life on the device. So this will save you valuable battery life. I can also optimize individual features. So for example, if I am on the move, yeah, I can actually see by turning off Wi-Fi what I'm gonna gain back in my battery life. So for example, my battery is fairly low on this device at the moment. I've only got 20% battery. I know that actually by turning off mobile data, it's gonna gain me 11 minutes. Uh, if I turn off Wi-Fi, it's gonna give me seven minutes. Yeah, on a device that's got limited battery life left in it, like this one we're using right now, actually that could be super valuable. It could be enough just to get you home or, or last the evening out. I can also adjust the brightness of the device, uh, etc. And I can look at the different settings here and make decisions on which ones I want on or which ones I want off. So for example, screen rotation. Yeah, something you might not need on if you're, you're trying to save those vital last minutes of battery life. I'd recommend trying the battery profiles. Awesome couple of features in here. Very, very intuitive to set up the configuration you want based on where you are and what you're doing at the time. Hope you enjoy AVG Cleaner. That's it installed and working. This was an AVG Academy video and we look forward to seeing you next time.